all right well that was pretty much all of that right there i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into some dream daddy if you will i'm really excited to finally play this i like watched people played it back when it was um first released um but that's you know that's been a hot minute since I've seen that. Um, and I don't really remember a whole lot of it. Um, oh, I don't, what is it? <laughs> daddy is, yeah, daddy is is good. I literally have not, that seems fine. I literally have not, I, I bought this like back in June. I haven't touched it. So, I'm excited. Oh god, the volume. Oh, the volume. I have been singing this song non-stop though. If you didn't think I was singing this, I would have been singing this song non-stop. Like non, non-stop. Let's make our daddy, shall we? We're sleeping. It's just sleeping in. That was me today. Dad! I was sleeping in today. Dad, wake up! Uh, wake up, pretend to be dad, five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> you said five, five minutes ago. I always do. And also ten minutes ago. Yep. <sighs> Finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. That's so cute. Manda Panda. Dad. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Did I not brush my teeth before I went to bed? Sometimes I do that. If I'm really tired or really drunk, sometimes I just do mouthwash and then go to bed. Anyways. Oh. Always use a coat of wax after a wash. Build like on your that dad. Build that dad. Oh my gosh, we get to build our dad! What would I look like as a dad? That's what I would look like as a dad. That's, that's what, what is the difference? Is it the arm here? Or is it just that like, one's a crop top and one's not? Does it matter? Are we gonna see what's underneath? I mean, I guess it is a dad dating simulator, so yeah, I would imagine. I mean, are we? Yeah, I'm a crop top girly, you know? So, yeah, we're showing some skin. We're showing, showing some skinny skin. Let's do that. Uh, diamond. I have a round. I have round. As much as I hate it. I have a round face. So, we're gonna do that. We got some, oh, hell yeah. We love a good man bun. I don't love this red, though. Gotta be sad. I kind of like this red. That's fine. I'm going for the man bun, I think. Because if I was a man, I would have a man. Oh, I kind of like these curls, though. Um, I don't know. Dude, this is more hair selections than fucking Dragon Age Inquisition. Or any Dragon Age game, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, let's go with this. I like this. All right. Oh wow, those look like uwu -oo eyes. You know what I mean? We could just have heart eyes the whole time. That's kind of cute. Um, I don't know. I I don't really know. Oh, snake eyes? Cat eyes? That's kind of cool. Maybe I want cat eyes. I don't know. I kind of just want normal eyes. And I gotta be honest, none of these are normal eyes. This just looks like sad. Maybe we'll do this one because we're like tired. I have green eyes. Maybe let's see what it looks like with green eyes. Green heart eyes. Uh, 
Maybe those eyes? I really like the snake eyes. It's gotta be said. I kind of just want them. Just to have them. I don't know. Let's go with this one. This seems fine. Um, I got like a button nose. You know? Not that. We got a little button nose. Let's go with that. That's a cute little nose. Yeah. We want to be smiling. Oh, I kind of like the toothpick, but I know it's not like that's not really me. I kind of like we got a good smile. Um, I love that you get to just have blue lips. So let's just stick with that. That seems fine. I have got some pretty bushy brows, if you will. I don't have a unibrow though. I've got some bushy brows though. But I kinda like this. You could I, I actually like I'm I'm cool with that. Do we want a dad stash? Oh yeah, I'm kinda digging that. I mean that completely covers the uh the smile we had. I don't even want to see that now though. There we go. Yeah. I'm loving it. Glasses? I don't wear glasses, but like if we look hotter with glasses on, I might do it. We might be doing some glasses. What do we want? Do we want yellow glass? I feel like I no, I'm I'm digging the black glasses. Do I want I'm kind of feel I'm feeling those. I'm feeling those piercings. Can you even see them? Well that doesn't make any sense whatsoever yeah you know what yeah I mean like I don't have a shit ton of piercings in my ear but like I would go for this do you know I actually want to do this to my ear and I just have chickened out let's see what we got something chill okay oh loving that I kind of love this <laughs> um Ooh, or do we be like business man? Be business dad? I'm kind of feeling maybe we do be business dad. I'm feeling this. All right, looking good, daddy. Look Name at us. That <gasps> Name that dad. I don't know. Um, My parents actually picked out a boy name for me. I don't remember what that was. So I'm just going to take... I'm going to take the grandparent I was quote-unquote named after. I wasn't named after this grandparent. They just wanted to give me a name that started with the same letter as that grandparent in case they never had another child. So we'll just do Simon. We look like a Simon. Alright. Be that dad! Be that dad! Woo! We're looking good for a dad. Pay your bills early. I always pay my bills early. Did you fall asleep packing? Probably. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room. It looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm -hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Yes. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. I find this interesting that they give you this option. We'll be, we'll be a pansexual king here. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. Oh, that's such a cute costume. <laughs> oh my gosh, that dragon costume. She wanted a little tutu and I love it. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so we went with both. Princess, dragon. Dude, if I have kids, like, that's the type of kid I want. I want the type of kid that's like, I want to be a robot firefighter. And then I have to make some insane Halloween costume. Give me that. You know what I told my mom? In, I'm, I'm not even joking this. In 
Second grade? First grade? First grade. I said I wanted to be the Statue of Liberty for Halloween. The Statue of Liberty. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. But she did make a pretty damn good costume. That is still to this day my favorite Halloween costume. It was pretty damn good. Um, why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. <laughs> Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. We all have repressed memories here. And this was you and your horse phase. I gotta be honest, I'm glad I never went through a horse phase. It's gotta be said. Oh, no. Dad... I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. You know, that's a pretty good name. That's a pretty good name. Uh. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. We didn't pick superior dad arms. And I'm not that tall, and I don't think this dad was very tall, so she could probably still get it. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Oh, hell yeah. Ouch, kid. We look like we used to be in a ska band. <laughs> The Scommunist Manifesto <laughs> had a chance back in the day. That's incredible. I love that name. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Dude, I had I had three best friends in high school whose I that those weren't my only best friends. I had but I had three best friends and their names were Maggie, Maggie, and Maddie. And my mother, the first time she met all three, literally said I needed to get new friends. Jokes on her, I'm still best friends with Maddie and one of the Maggies. They're bridesmaids in my wedding. They're still my best friends. I didn't get new but I didn't get new friends. I'm not good at getting new friends. Um, honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. All right. Two of these are literal crimes and one of these is just an embarrassing thing that happened and so therefore i'm gonna pick one of the crimes obviously she threw a fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station letter fluid tennis ball tennis racket right yeah dad that was you oh shoot that was us <laughs> oh right i was a wild child i was six when you did it oh my god who are we? Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Aww. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Oh, does she want to do photography? That's cute. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Dude, I did that. I did a um, art competition once. Art competition. I, I was not really good. I don't know why I, I was. But there was one year, it was elementary school, and we had a tiger mat. Our, the, a tiger was our mascot. And there was one year for the yearbook that every grade got to everyone they, they picked a tiger drawing from each grade so like in kindergarten like if kindergartners sent in their tiger drawings and then first grade and second graders and so on and so on i think i was in third grade and somehow i won i still don't know how and then they put it up in like one of the like art museums in my like hometown um and i was so proud of it I mean, it was cool, but now looking back on it, I was like, I was probably one of, like, three kids that submitted, that submitted something like that, um, because my elementary school was not that big, and my hometown was not that big. Anyways, I don't even know if I got a gift card to, like, Friendly's or something, but I hope I did. 
<laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. Yeah, that makes sense. I, yeah. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive pack Mick Fridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down, deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Ah. I finally decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born. This was the day we adopted you. This is the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. The birth? We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. Oh. She holds my hand and looks directly and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, It's okay. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> she was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Oh. Hmm. She pats me on the back. Ah. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Where? Which one was ours? This is like a flower shop. Was this our home? Or this one? This looks like a store too. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm. Hey, remember when I said, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had a very, you always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You are a very imaginative child. I'd be pissed. Yeah. Hey, remember when I broke that back window pla- We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Ah. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So, so what? So sell me on our new on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Uh, nestled in a beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. I'm going to like undersell it here. <laughs> With the good old washer and dryer hookups. <laughs> Honey, have you ever had dirty clothes? Yeah. For most of my life, yes. Well, worry about that no longer, as our new place features machinations that will not only clean your clothes, but dry them directly thereafter. Huh. An upper-class luxury, I feel. The concept of clean clothes is no longer in the hands of fat cats upstairs, sweetie. Anyways, it's, all, it's also smaller than our last house. <laughs> Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yeah. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas. I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Huh? Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Yeah. I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet, hmm. so you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Uh. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Oh. Don't you dare. Senior. <sighs> Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <sighs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one onto the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a pass, a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. 
Dude, I'm the type of person who, like, when I move, I need someone to tell me to, like, stop. Because I'm the type of person who will move and then unpack everything immediately. I hate... I hate stuff in boxes. It drives me nuts. Also triggers my PTSD. Anyways. Hiya! And with that swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Oh, it's an ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. The best time to eat an ice cream sandwich. I don't understand the issue here. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Do you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? That, honestly, let's be honest, I would pick that. I would focus more on the dogs than anything else. But I said I, I would unpack first. Nah, I'm going dogs. You know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog to person ratio is very high. That's all I want. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG to rock it way up. <laughs> I mean, you do that a lot all- yeah. Yay, it's a dog! Oh. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. <laughs> Always help a friend in need! Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Oh, hell yeah. This place is nice. Huh? Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Hey! Ow! Ow! Actually, yeah, ow, what the fuck? The frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Oh, ouch! Woof! Hey. A corgi! <gasps> It's a little corgi. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. He's so cute. Hello. Did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. I like your necktie. Ruff. He runs around in a circle and nudges my legs with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. It is. Can I help you? Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Pet the dog. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof. Amazing. How long do I have left? How did you know? Do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? <laughs> Barf. Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. <clears throat> my god. This dog knows more than he lets on. You definitely could have caught that. No, I really couldn't have. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Hey. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Yeah, well, I always catch things with my face, sir. There is no other method for me. I cannot catch. It's not happening. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. <laughs> ah! Oh! Were those eggplants and water droplets? Is that... <laughs> he did... He did... I said... Oh, no. I guess I said something he liked, and so there were eggplants and little water droplets that just, like, spurted out like emojis. Oh. Yeah, I guess I know what that means, too. I didn't mean to, like... I mean, but this is... We are trying to date a daddy. We're trying to find our daddy that we want to date. We all want... I all I do. I want a dream daddy. You're my dream daddy. What? You're my dream daddy. Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why not? That's fair. 
that's fair. He's not even a daddy. All right. it's a state of mind. It is a state of mind. <laughs> I'm your daddy. Okay. Uh, ha, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Nope, we can't date him. That's my mom's boyfriend's name. We can't date him. I'm Simon, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. But he's got a dog. Huh. Hi. Ah. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. Old oh, Maxwell. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. Uh, she's reading the Brothers Karmazov? Karma Ka Karamazov. I don't know, I butchered that. Her teacher tells me she, that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Damn, girl. How old is she? Uh. Ten. She's a precious little youngster. Holy fuck. She's ten? Whoa. Whoa, yeah, I know. Whoa. Uh. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishment. Why does it sound like we're about to go into battle? Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh. Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Daisy, um, I... That's my girl. Simon. Amanda, get in there. Amanda, okay, okay. Simon's HP 80s. Brian's HP 80s. <laughs> Why is this like a Pokemon game? Brag. What's this DHTR? I don't brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 810 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15. What? Why? What's better than... What's... What, what, why? Simon's AP, HP 65. Brian 70. What is DH daughter? What's item? Grade card, child art, band-aid, spelling... B photo, yeah, maybe? Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Brian, wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Fuck! Yikes, you lose 5 HP. Brian, Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school co How our daughter is not beating this girl? What is, like, she's nuts! She's the president, too, of course. Yeah, of course. A ten-year-old is the president of a chess club. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club. Or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. We are getting decimated. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like... It's my daughter versus his daughter. I'm trying to win, but his daughter's a fucking genius. I'm screwed. It's not that my daughter's dumb. It's just she's it, insane. Maybe we click. What's daughter? Daughter. Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. Yeah, that's for you, smarter daughter. <laughs> and switch out daughters. Give me a different daughter. Wait, did I waste my turn for that? I just wanted to see what it did. Oh, okay, good. I guess we'll brag again. Last week, unprompted, oh god, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Oh, fuck yeah. Get out of here, Brian. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe. What? Who gives a child a canoe? I'd be so pissed if a daughter of mine won a canoe because where the fuck am I What? That? Yo, where am I putting where am I that thing? <laughs> We don't canoe! Although, they probably canoe. They look very outdoorsy. Maybe they do canoe. to me! <laughs> well, you didn't see them! <laughs> We're taking it out next weekend. See, they're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. Used- Oh, come on! Simon's HP 30. Brian's 50. Oh, God. I don't know. Should we brag again? I'm not fleeing. I'm not a coward. Should we brag? Let's brag again. Or should we get an item? Let's do... Let's not do grade card. I feel like child art is gonna... This was dumb. I should have just bragged again. 
What does what is a band-aid gonna do? Will that heal us? With with a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. Amanda, what are you doing, Dad? Simon, being a protective parent. Anyone would agree. It is an unusual wall gesture. You lose 10 HP. What the hell? I thought that would... Did... Oh my gosh. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. That's not impressive. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. I think potty... Wait, I'm sorry. I'm gonna argue this here. If you are 10 months old and you say potty, to me, that's more impressive than you saying daddy. Well, what if it's a, it's, a, it's a baby from Boston? It's potty time. <laughs> it's potty. Shout out to all my Yankees. What's up, Yankees? I mean, no, Red Sox. But they're, that's the, that's the problem. Yeah, potty's more impressive potty's than daddy. Potty's more impressive than daddy. daddy. Gets all the time. Exactly. Well, I guess potty should too, I guess. No, nah. but you're not telling a 10 month old gotta go potty. Like, you just. Yeah, what the, are they yeah, the, the baby just you shits. Go you gotta go outside. You gotta go potty. No, the baby just shits. And then you gotta clean up the diaper. So. I'm still waiting. So, like, I'm still waiting to get potty trained. <laughs> what? That's probably the biggest darkest secret. I, I wear <laughs> diapers because I never learned how to use a toilet. Oh my gosh. I lose 10 HP. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Simon's HP 10. Brian's 50. Fuck. Okay, we gotta brag. Let's brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. That's all we got? Brian loses 10 HP. Brian, oh really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Motherfuck. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. We're, I died. Dane, he's really got us beat. Brian, boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Arg, did he have to add an insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood and they've got a dog. We just moved in. Do you live around here? What do you think about my daddy? Do you think he's hot? Uh. I, uh you know what? He's not my type. <laughs> I'm trying to make me as a daddy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I just, I, I'd smash, I'd, of course I'd smash, but the problem, the, he's, he's hot. <laughs> but he's like record store hipster hot, which to me isn't hot. Does that make sense? It doesn't count for me. Like, I can smell what that guy smells like. I've been behind that guy in Bongo Java before, you know? I've been served by that guy at Frothy Monkey before. I'm not... You know what I mean? It's just... He probably is trying to push, like, an alt-rock EP he just put out. I was in a ska band. Really? Yeah, that's that's my backstory. I was in a ska band I called. Think he's, I think he's perfect. What's his name? Simone. <laughs> Simon. Did you choose that? I did choose that. Okay, that's a strong name. I like it. Well, I picked because I picked it after the grandfather that I was quote unquote named after. You thought now in Dream Daddies was a time to <laughs> honor his memory? No, it was ah! just. <laughs> Oh man! No, it was just more like I don't know. I was oh. just I made me so as like a if dad. A boy, if like I was a boy, if we switched and I I was the super hot buxom woman. Yes. And you were the super hot normie dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. I fuck with it. I get it now. I see the inspiration. You see? Thank you. And I like it. You like it now? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, do you? <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, we just moved in. Do you live around yeah. here? Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Oh, shit. We're neighbors. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? This is not a good, like, first meet. It's gotta be said. What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. I just want to pet your dog. Yeah, definitely. Bye! 
Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting a lawn in tow. <laughs> Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? <laughs> trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in com comparative horse studies. Oh, excuse me. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Yeah. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Burns. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh. Like yeah, have to. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Are you trying to go to bed? No. Oh, okay. I'm just resting my eyes. That's a daddy move right there. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sleeping. I'm resting my eyes. Let's go to the coffee shop. Is there another daddy? Yeah, there's. I think so. I think another daddy's gonna get introduced. That last one was just okay. <laughs> you didn't like Brian? He's kind of a douche. I mean, he was hot, but he's kind of a douche. Yeah, he I was. I didn't he's like... Kind of like Ginger Santa. Or yeah, something. I didn't like the one up in there. I don't like I don't like people who do that. To, yeah, go brag about their daughter. Well, my kid did this. I guess we're the ones that started it, but yeah. still. You know, uh, I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. I'm gonna ah! call- <laughs> I'm gonna call it that next actually. time. <laughs> I, need, I need a hot cup of bean juice. Yeah, I need a hot cup of bean oh, juice. That so nasty. It, it does. Like this, right? it's like now, what? Bean juice? No, I would just imagine, like, if someone said that to me, my first thought wouldn't be coffee. My first thought would be like actually squeezing out beans and drinking the juice that comes out of the beans that is super fucked. yeah i mean like i'm I, that's where my brain would go I, apparently yours went to piss so always, i don't <laughs> it always does um i think we passed a coffee shop on the way here maybe we could check that out let's do it dad oh I missed it. It was dad tip 62. Whistle while you work. It gives you dad tips. Oh, cool. <laughs> we walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. All right. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Why do I feel like that's what you would say? No, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I actually agree, I agree. <laughs> At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go up and set it on the counter because you that don't know where else to put it? That is true. Sometimes I, I hate that. Or do you leave it there and feel your fa face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibilities there is, in fact, a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Ugh. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Amanda. <laughs> we walk inside. Hey. Alright, there we go. Daddy number two. Oh, God, he's hot. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's like he's about to ride smoke or whatever. Talk about yeah, I know. Just, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. Let's see. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around the well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Hey. Matt. His name's Matt. Not as, I thought it was going to be Sebastian. <laughs> Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? Coffee spoon? That's literally what it's called? We could have thought of a better name. Teaspoon actually would have been cute, but I guess then people wouldn't think you had coffee. <laughs> what? Yeah, it'd be a tea shop. Well, but coffee shops have tea. Yeah, but it's mostly coffee. 
What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. Oh. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's a good idea because like the business is still running. Mm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking about. Man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. I feel like Matt and I are on a spiritual level here. Of like, I like I feel like the anxiety in me is the same anxiety in him. You know. Hey, uh... mm. So what'll it be? Hmm. I scan the chalkboard menu and, immediate, and I am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a Godspeed you black coffee, ice Tegan and Sarah, chai ant word. Are these all supposed to be like book references? Are they music? Maybe they're more muse. Yeah, maybe it's more bands. Uh, Godspeed you black coffee. Ice Tegan and Sarah. Yeah, Tegan and Sarah is a. And Chai Anta Ward. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're all. Those are bands. Oh, they're bands. I'm going with the Ice Tegan and Sarah because that's my name. Hey. Good choice. Oh, he only gave me hearts. No fucking no! squirting No! No squirting eggplants! I only got hearts! I picked the wrong choice! I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism. I'm doing the thing again, but coming right up. And for you, I'll have a Macchiato DeMarco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. <laughs> Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? I mean, like, no, if you have one that's called small and one that's called medium and then one that's called biggie smalls, then obviously that's the biggest one. You should have left it at biggie. Yeah, you're just leaving it biggie. This guy needs a bucket. <laughs> Matt sets to making our drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Ouch. Hey. Hey. Ska was cool once. <laughs> this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Damn. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable talking to other people as you are. Bruh, is she trying to hook us up? You should totally become friends with him. Oh, just friends. Just friends. No, she no. No, she's wink winking, nudge nudging. In a totally normal way for daughters to do that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I'm always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. That's the way I like it. <laughs> See, we're making progress. Matt sets her drink down at our table and I have a sip. The iced teagle and Vera is delicious. That's not what it was. It was Sarah and I know because that's my name. Ah. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Simon. Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Oh no. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be come Sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> I had to burp. I think that would be commons commensurate com commensurate? That's not how you say that word. 
C O M M E N S U R A T E. Commensurate. With, um. Uh, I don't know. I've taught. <laughs> I don't know. I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes. That. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Oh, buddy. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, gosh. Now I have to pick one? Um, all right. Which one do you like, Beans? Banana Bread Kennedy's. Grateful Banana Bread. Right said Banana Bread. I'm kind of leaning towards Grateful Banana Bread. Yeah, I guess that's the best out of all. Of them. I don't, yeah, I don't really like the other two. Is he gonna like it? Let's see. Hmm. No, he hated it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, there was black smoke coming out. He didn't like it. Like the jam rock band fronted by Jerry what? Garcia. That actually has a nice ring to it. You didn't like it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Grateful banana bread. Strong decision. That's our baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool. But once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Oh, oh my gosh. See, it, sound, it, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, Whoa. brooding over a... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. He's hot, too. He's hot, too. They're all hot. That's the point. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? We should unpack. We should be good. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. Do I smell bad? <laughs> Amanda gives me a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. Laser disc is clearly all. This is stressful. Why do you mean it? I'm having a great time. Why do you mean it's stressful? I'm trying to get the eggplants to squirt is a hard game. I know. I really didn't like when he, when the black smoke smoked around him. I didn't like that. I made him upset. Or he didn't like it. But to be fair, I didn't understand any of those musical references, so... I probably wasn't going to pick the one that he liked. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying. And we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? Oh, is this cult dad? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. What do you think about him? Too Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hey. Oh, 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 where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. I've been really trying, baby. He's a little he is a bit preppy. Um, he is also, I, I know, I remember this, Dad. He's also married to a woman. Good for him. So I feel raw and romancing a married man. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Simon. That's what my name is. Hmm. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted to wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. I also remember his kids are fucking weird. Also, I'm realizing I'm hiding the... Maybe... Hold on. I was realizing I was hiding the uh, text. I probably should do it this way so you guys can see it. Anyways. Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Hey. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her a plate of cookies with a smile. Hey. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Oh. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Mm -hmm. Children in general are just tough. <laughs> yeah, dude? I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try 
with you to try... Wait, I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try raise more than two. I think that's a typo. <laughs> I have four kids. Jesus, what have you done? <laughs> oh, uh, I meant, don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Jesus! Oh. <laughs> no, no she's dead. Fucking she's she's fucking, fucking dead. No. No, she was not an ex-wife. No. It's my wife. My she, wife is dead, not no, his wife. Him. I don't know. She's just dead. You don't have any head cannon for that? Like, she just I mean, she fell in front of a bus? Or... I, I mean, if I had head cannon, it would probably just be, like, cancer or something. Okay. Not something graphic and awful like getting hit by a bus. I think, I think cancer's pretty fucking awful. Well, I mean, I'm not saying cancer's not awful. I'm just saying, like, it's not as graphic as getting hit by a bus. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, 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 it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? What? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh, he <laughs> left. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What'd you say, pal? <laughs> that was kind of cute. That was kind of cute. I like this guy. Uh, no, no, I don't... That sounds great. My daughter, Amanda, and I would love to stop by. He's a married man. I'm not I'm not a home wrecker. We're not home wreckers. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. No, it's not. I'm sorry. No, it's not. I four? What? No, you don't. Well, the stars. Yeah, four the stars. What do you No. No. Yeah, four I mean I think six is perfect. Three and three. I'm gonna say this in the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say this in, uh, the least graphic way I can. You're not pushing them out your hoo-ha, so you don't get to say hey, man, how many kids! Hey, you gonna be capable of. If, if, if by the time we have kids, you could push them out your hoo-ha, sure. We'll have six kids. It's called a butthole, Sarah. No, I don't want I don't want six I don't I don't want six kids. That's too many. Four right. is too Odd many. Is good. We should go with seven. <laughs> no <laughs> I'm ending this conversation. We shake hands to seal the deal. Uh -huh. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at three PM sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away but stops to think for a second and turns around. <laughs> Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister down at the church. I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. It's he, he's Christian. He's a married Christian man. We will not. Yeah, he's definitely, yeah, he's, yeah, he's like super, like, closet coded. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Is he, he's like kind of laying it on thick, right? Like, damn. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Uh. They're gone. I'm sorry. Wow, fucking oink oink. Yeah, what the fuck? How many cookies? A whole plate of cookies and she ate them all? They were definitely like poison, dude. She, your daughter's gonna die. <laughs> no! If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. Finger guns. I guess that makes it break. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate. That's my only option! Why did you present it as if I had more than one option? I think... 
we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. He just left! Yeah, bring it back on Saturday. Just bring it back on Saturday! Why are we being weird? We're gonna be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house this is. Huh? I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. Huh. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. And we walk up to the kids and wave. Look at his kids, dude! They're fucking weird! Look at them! They're creepy! Hey, guys. <laughs> no, look at their- Look at these twins' eyes. Look at their eyes. This he's tired. These two just look they, they give me like shining twins vibes yeah, only yeah, yeah. Only, you know, fraternal twins and blonde. Hey guys, is your dad around? We literally just saw him. They all just stare at us blankly. See, they also don't talk. We just wanted to uh return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph kids. Joseph's kids, they all look exactly like it. Ah, they were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. They all have C names. I chuckle nervously. Mm. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gently and back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back, even as we approach our house. <laughs> Fucking freaks. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Again, I, I didn't have any other choice. You've been awake for, what, three hours? That's a long time. And that's three hours too many. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Where were we? Weren't we in front of our home? <laughs> what? Simon, bro! Oh, I know who this is. Is this Craig? Hey. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? It God. is Craig. He's so hot. He's pretty hot. He's the hottest so far. Yeah, I think he's the hottest so far. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Holy. Wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! <laughs> Amanda, this is my friend, Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh, oh thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. <laughs> oh my gosh, why? Stop. The baby's cute. It's just a... <laughs> he picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. It'd be really funny if, if the baby was like, Nice to meet you, little girl. <laughs> it's just a ten-year-old all over again. Yeah. We have two way too smart babies. Or two way too smart kids. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? Oh my god, please don't tell me that's his wife's nickname. Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She's actually still goes by Smashly and uh, we got divorced last year. Fuck! God! Sorry, man. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all co- Piatic. Copacetic. Cop Copacetic. A lot of big words in this game. A lot game. of big words in this game. I'm not <laughs> Twins, you have three kids? Mm. Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Mm. Keg Stan Craig? Oh. oh, haha, yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Yeah, no shit, Simon. Like, <laughs> oh. is that... 
It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. You know, I've never done a keg stand. Don't ever. You'll die. Yeah, I don't think it, it doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound like something I want to do. Ah, right. He was very good at it. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really got to keep my heart rate. Keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. <laughs> You jog daily? I jog yearly. Actually, straight up, so true. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Hmm. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha, -ha, I don't know. Bro. Come on, it'd be fun. <laughs> he literally was just like, bro. Uh, it'd be fun. We could grab cop. We could grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. <laughs> All right. Sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. <laughs> Why is that? The Craig I knew is is not fit to be responsible for any living things, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Jesus. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> I mean, technically he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Hmm. He's like a totally different person. I mean, that's kind of what you hope. I don't want to be the same person as what I was in college. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Whew! That was a lot of dads! But I feel like we're still missing dads. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff back right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know. I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. Mm. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and, uh, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Uh. Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Hey. A dog! All right. Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Yeah. Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around its neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Yeah. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Ah. Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls out one out and throws the rest back on the floor. How do these colleges already know where we live? We just moved. Yes. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Oh, please tell me she got in. Open it. Mm -hmm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Oh. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Mm -hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Uh, her face drops. No. We regret to inform you that we were unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Uh, Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that ex experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me that, told me they just wanted, want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Oh. No, it's over. Are you actually fine or just saying that? Man, a college rejection does suck. Did you- you didn't ever get- did you get rejected by a college? No. It sucks. I applied to one and got in. <laughs> it sucks. I applied to eight and I got rejected by three automatically, which that hurt. And then I got rejected by- what, I applied to eight. Three I got rejected both academically and musically. Three I got admitted. 
musically and academically. Two, I got admitted, but only academically, not musically. But it sucks. It, it's not a fun feeling when you see you got a rejection letter. Yeah. Especially when it's one that, like, you thought you really wanted to go to. Like, I, like, obviously I chose Belmont, and Belmont was my number one. But FSU was actually, like, in my top three, so when I got rejected by them, oh, no. I got, you, and you know what I got rejected by? Academically. Which, From FSU? Yes! No shot. Yeah! And I was like, look, I know I'm not the smartest kid in the room, but, like, I can, I can get, like, what? I was so mad. That's actually, I think Kate Puffman just mixed you up with another Sarah. Uh, I'm not trying to be that guy, but, like, I don't think FSU is that hard. No, not, not for what I was, like, because the other thing, not academically for what I was going for. Belmont was certainly harder. Yeah. FSU to get into, I'd imagine. Maybe, I don't don't know. I mean, FSU's hard, I don't know. I, I would say, like, Maybe it's harder, but, like, for what I was going for, because, and they knew that, too, because they said that I was rejected academically, but if the School of Music accepted me, they would waive the fact that I was rejected academically, and they would allow me to go to the school. I'm so happy you didn't go to FSU. I am, too. I would have hated it. I would have hated it. You'd be down in Florida, I would have, I would have hated it, for sure. Disney World. And I probably would have gone because the thing that FSU also does with their school and music kids is if you're out of state, you pay in-state tuition. Okay, wait, that's sick. It was. It was a sick deal. I don't know if they do it anymore, but it was a sick deal. I, like, was strongly considering it because that would have made it cheaper than any other besides, like, my Georgia school. It would have made it so cheap to go. And it, it all works out. Yeah. It all works out. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, like... I wanted Belmont, so it was all good. Everybody always tells me. Yeah. Then my other two I got rejected from, academically and musically, I was not surprised by. And it was fine. It was Southern Methodist University in Texas and Boston University. Mm. Which I wasn't surprised with either. And then Miami of Ohio accepted me academically but not musically. And then Ithaca College accepted me academically, but not musically. Then Syracuse, Belmont, and Valdosta accepted me for both. Anyways. Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. No. Oh. Yeah, get her a beer. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I'm conveniently already have plans. I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? I'm going to go to a bar. Quick, think of plans. I am secretly the mayor of this town. Got to attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. I'm going clubbing. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the one all the kids these days are doing. Mm. Alright, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go to bed. Go out and watch the game? I'm not going to bed. Mm. Nice. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. The game on TV at somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna go do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. That's fine. I agree. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Uh. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. I got her a pat on the head. Yeah. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Ugh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Hmm. All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Uh. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, is that another daddy? Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Ooh. There's like no women in this town. It's crazy. <laughs> 
Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. 69, it's okay to cry if you're feeling sad. That's dad. That's dad tip number 69. That's a weird one to put in. That is a weird one to put in at 69. Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is. And Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. We're not that old, come on. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be? A big burned out neon sign hangs above tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. Ooh, this is my kind of joint, baby. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sound in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull a scene at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> That's it. One beer, please. Uh, the bartender slides me an ice-cold beer. I s take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I awkward- God damn it. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. What are we watching? Hockey? I'm gonna say we're watching hockey. Uh, the brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. <clears throat> Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey! Oh, hey! Here you go, Beans. There's a girl. A middle-aged woman Wearing holding... Yeah, that's Joseph's wife. Yeah, that's Joseph's wife. He looks half in the grave already. Well, she's married to a gay man. So... Um... Not th um, the fact that she's married to a gay man? She probably doesn't love that she's married to a gay man. She might not even, she might not even like it herself. She might not. That's what I'm saying. Uh, a middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slide, sidles, sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. <laughs> what? Mm. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often? Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Simon, by the way. Ah. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Hey. Oh, I love that team. And I also love that game. I just love how we're just saying, like, just generic team game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Jesus, Mary. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Oh, you think? Uh... Buy a gal a drink? No! Yeah, I'll buy you a drink. I don't, I mean, like, I'm not doing it in a, I mean, and, but, yeah, I'll buy her a drink. I almost reluctantly signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary, they're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. Hey. So, what do you want to know? Uh, what, what's your deal? <laughs> What do you think of the game? What's the latest gossip around here? You know what? Let's be little gossipers. He came to the right broad. Uh. I'm an observer. I watch people. I see everything. Know everyone. Nothing gets past me. Oh, okay. That's not creepy. So... Give it a rest. So what? Ugh. Oh, she just was like, give it a rest. Ugh. I thought you were gonna... Uh. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, honey, you need to go home. About the gossip? You said nothing gets past you? Oh, right. I'm also a steel trap. Confidential to a fault. Well, this is boring. Get out of my face, Mary! <laughs> so what else can you tell me about this part of town? Ah. It's quiet, that's for sure. 
If you want an idyllic little life with a white picket fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. Oh, we know your secret, Mary. She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Hey. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? I'm a little scared of her now. Oh boy. Uh, maybe some other time? Ugh. Suit yourself, sailor. I... Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The ba game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. <laughs> I can't. Oh, beans. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> he sits alone, oh. sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Yeah, he seems dangerous. <laughs> He's got oh. a tattoo on his hand. He's dangerous. He's wearing sunglasses at night. He's got in sun. He's got chest hair. <laughs> oh, man. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. All right, dick. Sorry. I have to disagree with that. Based on our win-loss record, I'd say my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. <coughs> I raise a glass, a respectful glass, at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on a mutual love for the game. He motions the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. I've got, I've got a school meeting tomorrow with my daughter, but the name's Robert. Thanks, I'm Simon. You must be new here. M Mary already hit on you? Is that what she was doing? Yeah. <laughs> Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. <coughs> is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. <laughs> you a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. You like shots? I'm not taking a shot. Ooh, shots fired? I don't like, I like, I don't know. I, I don't want to do a shot <laughs> right now. I don't actually, you know what? I don't like shots. I know this is going to make him mad, but I don't care. Um. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a problem. Well, that, that's fine. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. I don't want a shot of whiskey. Oh. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. I didn't want a shot. <laughs> Wait, I think this is what making friends is. No, I didn't want a shot. <laughs> Okay, Simon, this guy's out of my friend... Okay, Simon, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. I don't think Robert wants to be pals right now. <coughs> compliment his cool leather jacket. Compliment his rugged good looks. Compliment his hand tattoo. I feel like rugged good looks is gonna make him think we're flirting with him. I'm gonna go with the hand tattoo. I like your tattoo. What does it mean? Ah, shit. <laughs> it's a reminder. I wait for him to elaborate, but it seems like he's done talking. Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. Uh, a reminder of... <laughs> I need to stop jerking it. <laughs> I tattooed my hand and it says, no, no, no. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing? What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicks me out of the house, running for my problems, trying to make friends. Nah, I'm just gonna be honest. My daughter kicks me out of the house. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Yes, I care about my daughter. Single dad. Hmm. Oh no. Is that his type? <coughs> he gets up. Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. Uh, never seen Robert this talkative. He might- he must like you. He has not really said a whole hell of a lot. Ha, huh, I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I must really- then I really must be. I don't think he- I don't- Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You headed my way? No, I'm heading back to my home. 
Oh, okay, I guess we're walking together. I don't want to walk with this guy. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Uh -huh. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Oh, of course you do. Does everybody live there? Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Oh. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop, and he turns to me. Oh. I don't kiss and tell, Simon. Mm. So, are we doing this or what? Ah! What? No! What? Oh. <laughs> you know. Do you want to come inside or not? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm just... No! Uh, a wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Lay it on smooth, smile or not. No, thank you. Aww. I don't want to fuck him right now. I want to get to know him first. Maybe I don't, I don't want, I don't want. I'm oh, sorry, don't let me pressure you into fucking this man. I don't want to. <laughs> he's my type. I want to see, he's your type? He's not my type. Brother. No, thank you. Brother, I don't know, man. Uh, I better call it a night. Catch you around? Black smoke again? Mm. Sure. Okay, he didn't get angry at that. Bye. I head home. Head buzzing with whiskey. That too. We took a shot. We had some whiskey. We had a couple brewskis. We might be a little drunk. We should not. We should not be. What I mean. What did he mean by are we gonna do this or not? I pop down on the couch and I'm asleep before I even get the chance he to take. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean? He bought me whiskey. He's like, oh, you want to come inside? What is this, dude? Even get the chance to take my shoes off. <laughs> I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early bird. Still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore without realizing it? I drift back to sleep. Whoops, must have winked back out. I check my phone again. Hey, bud. Still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. What time is it? We're looking at 9.40. Maybe we save it here. Can we save it? Save. Maybe we save it here. We did the first day. I feel good about that. I didn't have sex with Robert. I didn't have sex with Robert. No. Wobbert. 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 No, I didn't have sex with Wobbert. <laughs> Um, chat, thank you for joining me this evening. Um, I will be streaming on Wednesday. I think we're gonna continue with this. I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> I think MCP is too. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna continue with it on Wednesday. Um, I'll start at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time as always. If you're not following me already, please do. I would greatly appreciate it. All my socials are linked down below in this description below so you can catch me offline. Um, as always, thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the next stream.
Thank you. 